Every now and then, small game designers decide to send me their game and give me the challenge of speedrunning it. So today, I decided to pick four of those games that I've been sent, and we're going to be speedrunning through them all. Hopefully, we can get some good times. And for our first game, we've got an interesting one. Do you remember the Flash game, This is the Only Level, where you're an elephant, and basically you have to play through the same room over and over again, but each time it gets slightly different? Well, my good friend and fellow speedrun YouTuber, Dawn Time, decided to make that game, but for Mario. So we can get right into the game, and then right away, you can kind of see the level that we're working with. It's always going to have this same level where we have to do those different things, like we have to go and press the switch, or we don't in this second version, because we're submerged in water. But it's always the same room, it's just with something different. For this one, we have to go press the switch, make our way all the way over here, but the exit is clogged, so we have to press down and we go through an invisible pipe. For this next one, there are going to be constant POW blocks that try to make us jump. So we have to make sure we're in the air when that happens, so we don't lose any time. We got this wrapper one where we just go around the level, and on ice level where we have to deal with ice physics, so that's kind of annoying. I have to jump a little bit to keep up with that. And this Mario Maker level, which I don't really understand the point of this, but basically there are a bunch of invisible blocks. I don't really understand why that's Mario Maker, but it is a pretty cool level, so I don't mind. And then Patience, which is basically the same thing as the first level, but the door does not open right away, so we kind of just have to sit here, but there we go. We finally got it. Next is the Switch Palace, where we're going to have to go after the Switch multiple times. It's going to keep switching positions, so we have to press it all those times to finally make it to the door before we get minor setbacks, which is a really cool level because there's constant wind blowing back at you. So we have to deal with that, make sure it's not able to kill us before we move on to this next one, which is pretty much just a simple level again. But we got this little ninja who's just kind of jumping at the door. We can make it right through there before now we have a bomb. <laughs> we do not have to listen to the level at all because why do that when we can just explode things and then also die for the next level? That's actually what you're supposed to do for it. I don't really know why, but hey, look, it's Midas is touch. We get all the coins. We're allowed to move on. And now it's time for probably the hardest level in the game, which is red alert. For this one, I cannot touch any of the red lines. Otherwise I'm going to die. So this jump especially is very hard, but we got it. And we can do another exit where we just go through the first door before we go into this in a hurry level. But thankfully we're already speed running anyway, so it doesn't really matter if we're in a hurry. And Hey, now we have this garbage can, which for some reason just destroys everything. But we're on to our final two levels. The first one is going to be memory. I just have to know where I have to go. All the stuff is invisible. And we get to the last one, which is pretty much just the first level again. But we just make it to the end of this star. And finally, we can end off time right there. Two minutes, 33 seconds. Honestly, I love this game. It's really fun to speedrun, And I like how it has the connection to this is the only level. So overall, great game. And for the next game, I got an email that said I should check out their game, Turbot. And I gotta be honest, this is a really cool one. Now, this game is really cool because it's basically made for speedrunning. I mean, they even have a speedrun mode that you can do. And as you see in the top right corner, it has a speedrun timer, even though it's spelled speedrun wrong. So that's not the best thing in the world, but that doesn't matter. It's still a really fun game. And you can see all the different mechanics that I'm using to go fast. First of all, you can crouch. That's going to give you some extra speed. You can run on walls. And if you crouch into that, you will get more speed. You can dash forward to different places as you'll see me doing. And we're just trying to keep our speed up, go as fast as possible and do cool tricks like that, where we kind of just skip through the level. Yeah, I love doing things like that. And hey, look, now we have a grappling hook. So that is also a thing. The grappling hook is definitely one of the harder parts of this game because while you're moving super fast, sometimes it's hard to aim at a specific thing. But if we're just smart about it, we can make our way through and make it to the final ending portal. Now we have some walls we have to break through, which aren't too hard. All you have to do is punch them. And I don't know why we're this strong, but we just destroy these walls with a single punch. It's kind of amazing. And for this one, we're going to jump down here, get that final orb right there. Now we have bounce pads. You can see this game is really cool because it keeps adding different things into it. And then it will use those things together to make sure all the levels are really interesting. So now I'm going to use my grappling hook a couple of times. I punched some different walls. Almost don't make that. That could have been very bad. And then we have this one. We punch, use a bounce pad. Now we have some walls to run on. This game is really just all about keeping up your speed and making sure you don't lose it at any singular point. And a nice thing is we do get to see our speed in the bottom left corner. So we can see if we're losing any time at a certain point and we can just try to go as fast as possible. Another nice thing about speed running this game is in the top left corner, there is going to be your best time for that specific level. So I can be like, hey, 
I did terribly. This is so sad. Or I could be like, hey, that was actually a pretty good level. And I'm pretty sure I just PB'd that one. But now we're on to the last level of our speed run, where all we have to do is run across these walls. Or I guess that's not all we have to do, because this is a very large level. It's going to use all the different mechanics that we use throughout the game. And we just got to make sure we're keeping our momentum up and making sure we also don't mess anything up, because it is really easy to do that, especially in a game like this. Like everything has to go perfectly. There are a little bit of janky things in this game, too especially with wall jumping. Sometimes you can just slide off the wall, but I just have to make it through here, do a couple more grapples, and I almost missed that one. It was actually insane. I actually went under that wall too. And then we have to make this as well, which I barely made, but that is going to be time, which was about a 253. Now you can see there are more levels in the game, but because I'm showing off multiple different speedruns in this video, we're just gonna move on from there. But I think there are a total of 75 levels and each of them adds some more things. Like in this level, you see there are now ice physics. And it really reminds me of Super Mario 3D World, where you can do that one glitch to get a ton of speed. Because you can see if we crouch repeatedly on that, we get insanely far. Yeah, it's a really fun thing to do. But hey, that was another really fun game. Let's move on to the next. Now, our fourth game, Bearded Adventure, was actually sent to me by Twitter DM. And it's a cute, cozy game. I got my wife right here saying, honey, I've configured the portals. You can now start your journey. And that's pretty much the only story this game gives you. But that doesn't matter because we're just going to be speed running. So we'll start out as soon as we go into the portal and then right away you can see it's just kind of a cool platformer game it's not the most intense graphics but i actually really like the pixelated graphics in this game i mean it just all looks nice everything flows together and the controls are not the greatest in the world you can definitely mess up things in this game but after playing it enough i've gotten pretty good at this game and i can just dodge all these things like those slimes we do this jump where we're trying to jump over two things at once so we don't take a lot of time we have another slime which we have to make over right here and finally we get this big gem where all we have to do is now make it up to the ladder which appeared once we got the gem and we can make it back to the portal and go back to our ship before going into the next level which right away i do not know what that thing is but hey we have tons of more enemies there are like bats that are coming around i gotta make sure i don't get hit by those and you'll also notice we have lava at the bottom of the screen but before we talk about that we have to outweigh this where there are just spikes which if you aren't careful you are definitely going to die on so i decided to wait right there do a little bit of careful jumps here as well and we get that one gem and here's where the lava is going to come into play. You'll see as we go down here, once you get the big gem, the lava is going to start rising. So we have to make sure we can make it up before the lava is able to get us. But like right there, I just made it look easy. I promise you it is not as easy as it looked right there. But hey, I'm good with that. We are now on the last level of the speed run. All I have to do is make it through this area. And this is a really cool area as well. I love the green aesthetic that it's got going for it. It's got some weird enemies like these fly things. I don't know what that's supposed to be. And of course, we'll have the lava right at the bottom and now we get to one of the most difficult platforming sections because these blocks are going to appear and disappear so I kind of have to be a little bit patient just to make sure I can get through these places and also you'll see my guy sometimes he lands but I still have to move a tiny bit more because he's kind of still stuck in his jumping state but that doesn't matter anymore we got our last thing now all we have to do is make it back to the beginning there's going to be that enemy which I am very scared of but we we're able to make it through all we have to do is make it up to the ladder and there is our last portal okay okay just go to the thing all right there is time 218 yeah that was not the most beautiful ending in the world but hey it worked out radars do not show in new caves yet thank you wife oh yeah and just to prove that that was the last level if we go back it just puts us into the first level again so hey we did it and finally we're gonna have our last game for this video immortus temporis this one was another email i got sent recommending i check out their game and i'm really happy i did because i just love the aesthetic i think this steam comment says it best where they say it's like the world's hardest game but instead of filling you up with rage this one is actually quite pleasant to play and has much more advanced mechanics so the idea is pretty simple we're a little ball and we have to get all of these pellets before making it to the goal. So we'll go through each one of these stages. We have this one, we just gotta get the pellets. And of course, these are gonna be the easier levels, but it's going to introduce you to more mechanics, like this one where you have to touch the red balls to die, and then you can go right back to the start so you can make it to your goal or other things faster. We can use that in this area as well, where we're just gonna go down, get those pellets as well. And yeah, it's a pretty cool mechanic. Or we have one like this where we just kill ourselves multiple times. Hooray. But we have to use those in pretty smart ways. I mean, you'll see this one. We have a specific pattern 
path we're going to want to take to make sure we get all the pellets and make it to the end as fast as possible. Or we have this one where again, we kind of just brute force our way through. So we make that path, we can pick up the remaining pellets and it's a good one, a nice path finding one, even though that was the easiest path I've ever seen in my life. But speaking about easy paths, we have that one as well. Thankfully, I've memorized literally everything I have to do in this game. Otherwise, these puzzles are kind of complicated. I mean, at least some of them and they do get complicated as you go more into the game. But then you also have puzzles like this where you just kind of have to move diagonally. Not the most complicated thing in the world, but hard because you also will see that we do have a timer and we have to beat each of the levels before that reaches zero. So obviously because we're speed running, that's not really a problem for us. But when you're playing through this casually, you have to make sure you're using the best path. Otherwise you're just kind of going to lose and then have to restart the level. So we're just going to keep going through. We have this little one, which for some reason just reminds me of trains. I'm not sure if that's anybody else in the world, but hey, now we have this one. This one, when I was playing through it casually, I had no idea how to do it. And then I was like, oh, you kind of just have to die. I do not understand why that was so hard for me, but it doesn't really matter. We have another racing one where we just have to race that thing, make sure it doesn't kill us. And this is a really cool one where we're going to go up and down, making sure we get all the pellets while dodging the red balls, because those would definitely kill us and make sure that we can't beat it in the required amount of time before this one, which is way too close for comfort. Thank you very much, Zigzag. And yeah, now we have this one. This level is really awkward to do because you have to get those pellets and then die, making sure you make it before each and every single one of those. And the timing is really tight in that level. So I'm happy I was able to do it first try. We can move on to this next one. It's kind of just a path you have to take. And there are only going to be two more levels in the speed run. All I have to do is make it through there. Make sure I don't die. That was way too close. And hey, look, it's the last level of the speed run. We make our way through and we're in a call off time right there. 252. You'll also see we got one of the effects you can get in this game where everything's just going to glow different colors. I'll show it in this room as well. So you can get some cool effects in this game. It's just something to bring up and for this game there are a total of 100 levels but like i said this is a video to show off multiple different games so i think 25 is a good stopping point and yeah those are the games that you all made honestly there were some really good speed runs maybe we have to do this again and if you want to see that in the future subscribe or i don't really know what else i just want to see the big number get bigger all right catch you all later